Robert McChesney is a United States researcher who studies the economy of global media. He is especially concerned with media consolidation or conglomeration. That is, he is worried that large media companies control more and more of the world's media. The term he uses is quite ugly, global oligopoly. You can tell that the term is related to monopoly. A monopoly is when one company controls an industry. An oligopoly is when a few companies control an industry. Mac Chesney gives three reasons for the rise of the media oligopoly. The reasons he says stem from the rise of neoliberalism. The first reason is media companies, like many companies, had regulations taken off them. Media companies used to be forbidden from owning too much media in one country. No longer. A second reason. Media companies once were publicly owned, that is owned by the state, like the British Broadcasting Corporation. Now most media companies are private. A third reason. Global media like satellite, cable and the internet allow companies to have a global reach. These global companies are truly TNCs, transnational corporations. They span across many nations. Max Shane says corporations have undergone a big change. Once corporations strived for horizontal integration, in horizontal integration, you expand horizontally. If you are a bookstore company, you try to buy more bookstores. If you are a movie company you try to buy more movie companies. In vertical integration, companies expand vertically, adding other companies that complement but do not replicate each other. For example, a bookstore company might buy a coffee store company and put coffee shops in their stores. Or buy a CD company and sell CDs in their stores. You might remember the television show Hannah Montana. It is a perfect example of vertical integration. The Disney movie company created the Disney TV show about a singer so the company could make and sell Disney CDs and play the songs on Disney radio stations. But the show was so successful. Disney created a concert tour for Disney theaters, and made a movie, and sold books. Business people call it synergy, when companies and products work together to produce something greater than themselves. Mac Chesney goes on to say that the huge conglomerates also compete against other big companies, but they are second-tier companies. Companies like the New York Times, CBS, Hearst, McGraw-Hill are big. But they cannot compare to the global oligopoly. Perhaps 10 companies own much of the world's media. But three companies are biggest by far. Matt Chesney calls them a holy trinity. One is Time Warner. They merged in 1989. Now one company owns a huge cable system, Warner Brothers movies, magazines like Time and Sports Illustrated, CNN, TBS and much more. The Disney Company was started by a cartoonist who produced Mickey Mouse. The Mouse now owns ABC TV, ESPN, History Channel, Touchstone Films, and parks like Disney World. A very important person in global media oligopoly is Rupert Murdoch. He started with one newspaper in Australia and now owns one of the biggest media companies in the world. Murdoch owns the Fox Network and many local stations, the 20th Century Fox Film Studio, HarperCollins Books, The Wall Street Journal, New York Post, and more. Mac just knew has a very subtle view of what we have called cultural imperialism. He does not think Western companies try to push their values on other cultures, though that happens. He says media companies have one simple goal, to make money. They would rather make profits than push Western values. However the profit-making global media companies do have a large effect on democracy, Mag Chesney says. They present dumbed down content for the largest possible audience. Citizens are treated as audiences and consumers. Serious news is avoided or turned into simple dramatic conflicts. Much of the world is ignored. I hope you have appreciated and learned from this little animation. The presentation has been fun to do, but the subject of global media is very serious. Thank you.